Jamie Rattan Kingdom is a horse that's been in super form for your stable. Um, he's bidding to make it a three timer on Wednesday night. Yeah, very hard to do, um, but he sort of started off the right mark at the beginning of the season. He was sort of bottom of class three, and he's uh, been fortunately handed, you know, three shots in that particular grade. So uh, it doesn't get any easier for him. He's got to carry a bit more weight, but. Um, Seems to be in good form at home. He's just been ticking over nicely, doing some maintenance work, and uh, thankfully he's drawn a good gate, so he's got a few things in his favour. Is he a horse that takes plenty of work, or can you sort of happily just bring him back to the races and, and he sort of holds his form, do you think? Yeah, I think we just tick him over quietly. He's not a horse that uh, carries an awful lot of condition. He's fairly athletic, so uh, I'd say he's where he needs to be, and um, obviously Zach's sticking with him, so another positive. On the pros and cons, as far as sort of weights and measures and figures go, he's got 59, which is a career high, a few extra pounds as well. But like you say, you have got Zach Purton. So, do you think you can offset that that new mark? Well, that's the question that'll be answered mm. on Wednesday night, isn't it? So, uh, the horse is in good form. I like when horses are winning. I think that they gain a bit of confidence mentally, and he seems to be happy and healthy. So, hopefully, he can carry on. He'll run well, but whether he's good enough to carry the weight and win again remains to be seen. Absolutely, and talking of a sort of a confidence thing and obviously a winning thing, you've had winners at the last three meetings, nice that that momentum continues obviously and, and those winners do keep coming. Yeah, it's uh, good to, um, as you say, get a bit of uh, momentum up and a bit of you know, regular sort of winners. We're kicking, kicking stones there for a little bit at the beginning, <laughs> beginning of the season, but um, horses are starting to find their form and. Uh, admittedly, as, as I've said before, it's taken a while to understand how it works here and you have to adapt. Um, but yeah, we had some pretty ordinary horses to start with and now we've got some new ones coming out and a few of the other ones are starting to find form, so uh, long may it continue. Vincent Jumbo Legend, one of your rides on Wednesday night, horse very much in form. He's going up in trip. Um, what's your take on the, the extra distance for him this time around? Yeah, um, you know, last couple of runs you start to you know could have couldn't really keep up the pace for 12 you know that's why we decide to step him up um, and at the trial we trial him in a uh, you know at a mile and he still had a good turn of foot um, so we're sure he can handle a mile um, you know with a good barrier draw definitely help so. Um, the blinkers, last time he wore blinkers, they've come off this time around. Was that just sort of experimental with him, with the headgear? Yeah, we tried the blinkers and see if he uh, responds well at the a, at a 1200 and still have the good turn of foot. But uh, yeah, it was, I think stepping up a mile is a better option than, than just put a blinker and go for 12. So um, yeah, that's, that's why we, we step him up and of course uh, to the mile, we don't we don't need the blinker. We should be able to, you know, sit a little bit closer than than 1200 all the time at the back. Mm. So um, yeah, without the blinker, you should should be able to do it. You mentioned the, the fact that it, you know you might just have sort of caught himself a little bit flat-footed. Is he the type of horse that you sort of you get rolling early on, perhaps to sustain that that long run with the extra distance? Uh, no, not really. Uh, you know, he can still. Still kick as long as you know. He, uh, of course, he surely relax well. He sh shouldn't be over racing, um, so uh, d doesn't really have to pick up too early. Zach, gorgeous vitality is your ride in the, the final race on Wednesday night. Um, second up this time in, and he didn't go badly last time, even though he was caught a little bit wide. I thought it was a bit disappointing first up, to be honest. Right. Um, I expected a little bit more, but uh, you know he hadn't raced for a, a small period of time and he had the surgery to his knee in the off season but the thing that worries me is he trialled again since then and he didn't finish the trial off again so whether he's just not comfortable at the moment not fit or he's not the form that he was obviously um, we're going to find out you take on the the two that finished ahead of you once again in the shape of california deeply and, and pretty queen prawn I, I guess at the revised weights that certainly does bring him that little bit closer perhaps certainly does but california deeply has drawn a good gate and gave us a bit of a hiding in that race and in the trial so he's going to be hard to beat and given that he obviously did cover a bit of ground his last couple he's, he's got a much better gate this time so that certainly helps it will help sure um you know it's just a matter of whether he's in the right form or not so